He's ready to go after the million. And they are Camille Keller from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Becky Busby, Buffalo, Massachusetts. Melissa Anderson, Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Bonnie Claire, Afton, Missouri. Stevie Bartos, Woodland Hills, California. Stephanie Smith, Baltimore, Maryland. And Christine McHugh, Northridge, California. All right, ladies, here's tonight's first fastest finger question coming up right now. With these personal care products in the order they were introduced in the U.S., starting with the earliest. Crest toothpaste, ivory soap, herbal essence shampoo, Biore four strips. And the time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest one, and it was ivory soap. Then Crest. And then the shampoo, herbal essence, and then Biori four strips. Let's see who got this one right. Fastest time. Oh, a lot of people got it. Ah! <laughs> Stephanie Smith from Baltimore, Maryland, single mom with uh, twins. Yeah. And uh, work at a at a bank. Yeah. And this is what your second time on TV on a TV show. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The first time sounds like quite an experience. I did the Love Connection mm. about 20 years, almost 20 years ago. No, and you never forgot it. Oh my God, the worst date of my entire no life. No kidding, really. <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, we just didn't get along. We cut the date short, and we promised we wouldn't trash each other on TV. And, of course, that's what happened. We, it was horrible. I mean, I told Chuck I got out of the car before it stopped rolling, and the guy said he was afraid I was going to kiss him, and it was like, ah. Wow, that bad, huh? And then the audience picked him, and Chuck Woolery was the host at the yeah. time. He said, I guess there's no chance. At, uh, no chance. No kidding. <laughs> But well, you had to pick him first, didn't you, as I yeah. recall that show? Uh, yes. Why did you pick him? He was cute. Ah, see? Silly so, me. As soon as you got to know him a little bit. Anyway, your cousin Michael is here. Michael, nice to see you. Hello. So you're all set here. I hope this is a better experience than oh, that. Oh, it's got to be. <laughs> all right, sweetie. Well, you know the rules. You know about the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Stephanie Smith. Here we go, Stephanie. $100. Which of these parts of the body is a woman most likely to tweeze? Your lips, fingers, eyebrows, husband's back. Uh, C, eyebrows, final answer. Yes, ma'am, $100. We're going for $200 here. A popular kid's version of Happy Birthday ends with the line, you look like a monkey and you what? Smell like one too? Don't have a clue? Talk till you're blue. Have some esteem issues. <laughs> um, a, now like one, two, final answer. Yes, for $200. Here it comes, Stephanie, for 300 Something that is too expensive for you is said to be too rich for your what? Your skin, your blood, heart, slacker boyfriend. <laughs> B, blood, final answer. Yes, it's blood. Going for $500. A Heath candy bar consists of chocolate-covered what? Graham crackers, marshmallow, toffee, granola. Uh, I think it's toffee. Final answer. It's toffee. Oh, my God. <laughs> One thousand. Canister and upright are two types of what common household device? A blender, vacuum cleaner, electric toothbrush, smoke detector. Um, I think that's B, and that's my final answer. Vacuum cleaner? Yeah, it is. One thousand dollars. Yeah, they were a little bit on the tricky side, but here it comes for $2,000.
In a famous movie scene, Marilyn Monroe stands over a subway grate wearing what color dress? Black, green, red, white. That's D, white, final answer. You got it for $2,000. Forty-six years ago, that movie was. Here it is, four thousand. Olio is another name for which of the following? Table salt, ketchup, margarine, jam. C. Margarine. Final answer. Yes, margarine. Four thousand dollars. You're on a roll, Stephanie. We're looking at the question for eight thousand dollars. The Romance languages are descendants of what language? Arabic, Egyptian, German, Latin. I think I know, but I want to be sure, so I want to ask the audience. Let's go to the audience. The Romance languages are descendants of what language? If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Uh, 89% say Latin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go with D. Final answer. Audience is right, it's Latin.